Welcome to Napoli guys, Naples, Italy, the home of pizza, mamma mia. Literally, it was invented over here guys. So it's only right that we try some of the finest pizza and the street food over here in the city. Check it out, this is the apartment I'm staying at, this, this is the entrance. <laughs> All right. So these are the streets of Naples, Italy. I'm gonna go to the city center where they have various street foods from over here in Naples, as well as some delicious pizza napoletana. All right, I guess Bill Clinton maybe came to Naples probably just looking for some head. Instead, he found some of the best pizza. So we're gonna have some pizza over here, guys. This, this spot has a reputation. So I'm gonna try it out, but before we go to the pizza, guys, check it out. Buongiorno, hello. Check it out, various street foods from the region. These are all here from Napoli, these foods? What are they, brother? Uh, omelet. There's an omelet? Yeah. And this is? Rice. Rice? All right, I would like to try one of everything, please. Please. Yeah, one of each one. One by one, though, one by one. All right. That's it, that's it. How much is it? Five euros. All right, so I got four things. So everything's basically like a euro and some change. Where do I pay? In there? Okay. Check it out, guys. Street food number one here in Naples, Italy. This is a souffle. I believe he said it had rice in it. Mm -mm. Is this filling in there? And there's cheese at the end. I didn't get to the cheese. Very crunchy, it's fresh. Crunchy on the outside, mashed potato -y on the inside. I want to get to that cheese. I want to get a bite with the cheese. Mm. This is delicious. Yeah, try it. Hello, by the way. Pepper? Huh? Oh, tiene pimienta. Esta me da como tos. Tiene pimienta. The black pepper. It has like whole chunks of black pepper there. Sí, I'm gonna probar. Oh, look at the street bar. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's well fed. He he is chunky. <laughs> so it has a pepper taste. Sabe pimiento un poco. Bastante. Y es como de un puré de papa. Él dijo que sí, a mí me sabe a papa. Él dijo que arroz, pero me sabe a papa. Creo que hay otro que dijo arroz. Este es de papa. Puede ser. Sí, puede ser porque este sabe a arroz. Se ve como papa. My friend, this is potato in here? Potato cheese, inside the cheese. And pepper. A lot of peppers, good. Very good. What's it called? The name? Croquet. Croquet. Croquet, all right. Thank you. Hey, check out the dough. <laughs> oh, look at all the pizzas, though. I don't want a baby. Oh, check out the pizzas. All handmade. Hello, how you doing? Hello, hello, mister. Little pizza, portafoglio, folding in the wallet, pizza. Yeah. Only in Naples. Only in Naples. Street oh, food. they got fried pizza here too. Food. The first uh, street food in Naples. The first street food in Naples. Over here, all right. I'm at the right place. And Bill Clinton came here. I like that. Guys, yeah, so these are like calzones. Basically a pizza that they fold in half, but they fry them over here, guys. They come out crispy. We're gonna have to try one of those, guys. I love it. I love the energy in this place. I love how they treat the dog ladies. 
<laughs> He's just there waiting to be fed, guys. It's a big, chunky, fat dog. Everybody's out here. It's time to try something else. The line just keeps piling up. All right. So we're going to try the next croqueta. That's how you call it, a croquette. You do the honors. Okay. You got... All right. Yeah, pick one. All right, close your eyes and just put your hand in. Right. <laughs> Shake them all up. Mm. Oh, it's cheesy. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, Lord, that one, that one looks really good. Esto me sorprendió. Tiene granos, mira, como arvejas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta es try como it. un risotto con carne, queso y arvejas. Y obviamente queso, eh, perdón, salsa napolitana. Eh. Napolitana, it looks like marinara sauce in there. Uh -huh. Some meat and rice. So that's what he said, rice. A rice, a rice ball, rice. Fry ball, a fried ball of rice. Mm. Mm. Good lord. Esta está mucho mejor que la otra. There's a lot of flavor here, guys. The meat, the crunchiness of all this friedness, the cheese. Now you do taste. The green peas, they're a lot. They add a, almost an herby taste. For me, I think I would like this a lot more without the green peas. Para mí, sin las arvejas, estuviera mejor. Le da como un sabor a tierra. Sí, están un poquito como duritas. Están ricas, pero para mí, preferiblemente sin eso estaría como perfecto. <laughs> This one's definitely winning right now. It's gonna be tough to beat this one. I'm gonna grab the the cousin of it. Like this one didn't get a tan, and this one got a tan. Es eres tú y esto soy yo. That's a good way to put it. I'm gonna guess this one has rice in it as well. Mm. Mm. This is like the white version of it. You know, you got tomato sauce based pizzas, and then you got the white base. There's the white base. And it's a thing of taste. Let's see what Alejandro has to say. Oh, sí, igual. La misma cosa, exactamente. Solo la base blanca. Mm. Es completamente distinto el sabor. Completamente distinto. Este se le siente incluso menos la, las arvejas, se le siente el menos. Ajá, mucho menos. Es más fuerte como el sabor del queso. Este tiene más queso. Uh -huh. Tiene como un queso ahí fuerte, algo así, como Exacto. que le da otro sabor. Sí, mira, aquí se ve el queso entre ellos. Yep, in between everything. It's like a white risotto. Mm -hmm, eso. And you taste the, the green peas a lot less. Mm. For that reason, I like this one more, but in terms of taste with that tomato sauce, I gotta try pizza from there because it's all about the sauce here, guys. The cheese has been good so far, but the sauce, mamma mia. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the cars here. You're gonna see some very small vehicles. But when you see some of these alleyways, they're just very narrow. A small car is the way to go. Tú no entras ahí, cielo. Y tú sí sigues tampoco. Es verdad. Nos falta uno más. Yep. All right. 
Last but not least, the biggest one. Mm. Oh, look at it. It's juicy. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. While well, cheese shoes, I'm going to try it. I see noodles. There's noodles in there. Sí. Diga, o sea, visualmente parecen como que tienen todo lo mismo, solamente que cambia uno con salsa, pero es solo visual, el sabor es todo completamente distinto. Cada uno tiene su sabor como característico. En este caso, the the noodles are a game changer. We sub rice with noodles. And I must say, at first it feels different in the mouth, you know, it's quite different. It's just, I don't know, normally I'm used to having pasta like on a pasta dish. So to have it in here was something new and surprising. Nonetheless, delicious. I'm gonna stick to my ranking. I'm gonna go with the, the white risotto croquette, number one. Then number two, the red one. Then this guy, and last but not least, the the mashed potato ball with with the the pepper. By the way, Alejandro is like throat. <laughs> it's not doing very well, so the pepper just took her. That's why she's wearing my my sweater. A mí me gustó más también el blanquito, el que te dije que eras tú. Luego el otro que era con salsa roja, este. Este también está muy, y este también es más jugoso que todos. Uh -huh. um, y luego el que es como papa con pimienta. Es como fuerte para mí. By the way, guys, everything we just had is five year old and it's quite filling. <laughs> guys, the lines are getting massive, guys, but I want to try that. That fried pizza there. Cuenta, eh? The cool thing is with all this movement, everything comes out nice and fresh. All right. Pizza frita. Cuánto costa? Two euros. It's two euros for um, a fried pizza. Look, they're coming out fresh. He's just unloading them out from there to there. Two euros. It's not Napoli if they're not obsessed with the local soccer team. All right. Let's get the show on the road, guys. The fried cheese pizza. Es así. Uh -huh. Pero te lo dan así doradito. Yeah, I guess. No sé. Yeah, because it's pretty large, so. Sí. So I guess yo, you just bite into that. Yo le voy a entrar así. Con todo, como una empanada. Bam. <laughs> 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 Your face. I <laughs> think you got nothing but bread. Sí, no. Ya. Yo lo voy a abrir porque quiero Let's ver qué. Dissect it. Eso. Okay. Oh, eh. Hold on. It's just. Where's the cheese? All right. It's the other side that has all the cheese. <laughs> all the cheese is in there. You put the wrong side. <laughs> I mean, it's two bucks, so you can't expect the whole thing to be filled with cheese. So right there, I think that's what you want to dig into. Será acá. Será. Un poco más. Un poco más. Okay. Oh, it's like ricotta cheese. Uh huh. What do you think? Me gustó. Es muy. Le cambia el sabor completamente como cuando pruebas esto solo. Uh -huh. Es un queso demasiado suavecito y no sé, es como muy suave. Muy suave. Muy suave. Soft cheese. I'm going for it. A mí me gustó mucho. Te vas a llevar todo. Ahora me entiendes. Es como. Es casi un chujo, pero no es dulce. It's almost sweet, but it's not. Pero es super dulce el queso. Mm -hmm. Pero el pan, 
Casi es no. dulce. Dulce no, eh, perdón. Muy suave. Well, that was totally unexpected, guys. Our fried cheese pizza. I wonder how this will fare if they stuffed it with mozzarella. They'll definitely be another another animal. Yo tengo que decir que este ha sido mi favorito. Este, mm -hmm. de todos. Este ha sido mi menos favorito. ¿En serio? Yeah. A mí me gustó cuando muerdo esta parte. It's interesting, but I don't know. It's... I, I, want, I want more taste. I, I don't want something kind of sweet. I want salty right now. So if you want something sweet, well... A mí no me parece dulce. Let me see. Guys, the traffic. I mean, imagine everybody land up for food there. Motorcycles. Guys, this is this is Napoli's most chaotic street. You have to be aware or you will get hit. Kitchen that way. We're gonna come inside and have some pizza, guys. Um, yeah, you go up these stairs. Bill Clinton was here. That's oh. boozy. Now Hope. Hope is here. Yeah. <laughs> Not made for the tall. Alright, look, you got surveillance footage. They have unlimited variations of pizza over here. I would love to try them all. We decided to try the four station pizza. So this is just the typical marinara that you're gonna find here. It's basically just bread and sauce and the herbs there. We have this one with some herbs and sausage, pork fat, and a classic margarita. And yeah, this is Napoli Italian style. They don't cut the pizza, they just... Did <laughs> you get the whole thing? Alejandro was surprised. Yeah. Cualquier esto, cualquier producto. I want to try this. I never tried just... I mean, this is a breadstick, basically. Hey, guys. It's Bill Clinton over. Oh, damn it, Monica. Get out from under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, um, I'm gonna start with something I've never tried before and it's the marinara pizza. I've had breadsticks back home but never, never ever a pizza with just sauce and herbs and what is that, is that a big chunk of garlic? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna bite into the whole thing. It smells fantastic though. Mm. That's a big piece of garlic, but this tomato sauce is straight out of tomato heaven. Mm. I was a bit skeptical, you know, to me a pizza has to have cheese, but this right here is the sauce. If you don't have such a good sauce, this won't work. You want to try this? Herby. <laughs> Where's the cheese? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the sauce though? Me, me, me sorprende que, que no tenga ese sabor como tan ácido, ¿sabes? Que normalmente tiene la salsa. Está extremadamente buena. Le da un toque, la, las hierbitas le dan un toque genial. Genial. <laughs> This is not the first Napolitana pizza I've had over here. And they all tend to have their different sauce. This one's not that tangy. It's, it's just different. I'm going to have to try it with some cheese. Next up, the white base pizza with the pork fat. Tiene dos tipos de queso, mira. Mozzarella and ricotta. I gotta try it. She's just 
Oh man. So the thing about the Napolitana pizzas, the crust is thick, but everything else, like this part here, is as thin as the quarter. It is very thin. Man. I, don't know, I like to grab it like that and just kind of make a taco. Mmm. Mmm. It's the same cheese from the fried pizza. Yep. Mm hmm. But mixed with the pork fat and the mozzarella. Oh, I can, I can see why you were hanging on to this slice. <laughs> it's a slice out of heaven. Mmm. White white base white base pizza never tasted so good. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Have it. Anything for Monica, I mean Alejandro. No white stuff on my face. <laughs> hey, yo, Monica, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, 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 all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Next up on the menu, we have the sausage of pizza with mozzarella. I believe that this one has a tomato sauce. Oh. <laughs> that is the herbiest of herbs I've ever had in my life. Jeez. Well, I didn't spit this out. I don't know if I'm talking, but not for me. Hey, you try it. You have to try it. No. Well, it's been a cat. No, make sure you don't get the greens. What are you doing? No, get the greens. Don't cheat. Yeah, get all these green vegetables in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is not just Viara. <laughs> it's a very herby, 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 herby taste. Um. Sabe que sabe. Sabe como a espinaca con brócoli. Mhm. Mm it has broccoli. Pero, pero así como amargo. Como... Yeah, it was very... I want to try the sausage. I just want the sausage. Just the sausage. Mm, even the sausage has the herby taste. Mm. Alright, let's redeem ourselves. <laughs> Finish the white pizza. Oh, I need the margarita right now. Like right now. It's time to to get the rest of this food review serious. All right, you do the honors. All right, go ahead. No, dale, tú, tú, a ti te gusta la hoja esa. The first lady goes first. <laughs> All right, hey, I'll go. Mm. That's more like it. That's, yeah. Great sauce. Different sauce, you know. That's the beauty about the pizzas here in Napoli. They're all kind of the same sauce, but not really. Once you try a few out, they're all different. And basically, you begin to like one more than the other. This place might have a better crust. This place a better sauce. This place has a cheese that eventually you find one that has all three. 
flavors that go to you and bam, that becomes your pizzeria. This one's good, it's a lighter sauce. I like it, not bad. All right, guys, grazie, grazie, Ciao. very good stuff. All right, guys, this the street food. That, that's what you need to come try over here, guys. And as full as ever, holy smoke. Inside is very tranquil compared to the madness out here. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, this is definitely worth a visit, guys. Since 1936, they've been doing it. The street food is where it's at. This is where you get the street food. Oh, look, Lemoncello. Alejandro, hold on. They have drinks, they have drinks. Uh, yeah, Lemoncello, please. Yeah, one, one Lemoncello. Yeah, sure. There you go. Gracias, gracias. Alrighty, guys, I like it. So, while you're waiting in that crazy line, you can just have yourself a nice little drink. This this is great after after a lot of food to just bring everything down. One euro, one euro. But anyways, guys, definitely go there for some street food. The pizza, some good slices there, but it's a personal thing. I've, I've had better ones here for my taste buds, but definitely on the street food, that's the place to go. Alejandro, you want some lemon cello? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Lemon cello, mamma mia, la, 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 la. What do you think? What do you think about the place? Um, obviamente. No fue la más rica la que tenía la ramita. Sí, pero la pizza es como... Muy, muy buena, la verdad. Tenía o sea, una buena, pero para mí... Era como muy... Como muy al extremo todo. O sea, hay unas muy buenas y otras que... La blanca esa estaba buena, estaba la pizza blanca. Sí, la blanca estaba excelente. Y la otra sí, no sé. Brócoli en una pizza no se nada. Yo me quedo con la comida callejera de ahí. Eso estuvo excelente. Sí. Y la pizza, bueno. We're gonna go do a crazy line for a very famous pizza place. Let's go, let's go. Check it out, look, they have desserts. So these are typical over here. It's like a super layered type of croissant. It looks, it looks phenomenal. I just, I'm saving my stomach for, for the last pizza. Look at all these. <laughs> all these, all these vehicles over here. Um, we're gonna go to a pizzeria that has over 20,000 reviews on uh, on Google that's a lot and I walked by yesterday and the line was just gigantic so I'm gonna go there I'm just gonna try a slice there's two pizzerias it's either that one or the one from Eat, Pray and Love forget about that the decision was easy for me I'm going to this one over here the other one has 30,000 reviews though I was like whoa something must be right but then again it's the movie effect very famous actress dying there, so of course. Champions of Italy. <laughs> Napoli. All right, we're approaching. Let's see. Hopefully, there's not a crazy huge line. I mean, if you want fresh, the octopus is still alive in the city center. It's that fresh, guys. There's a lot of, lot of seafood here in Napoli. There's a market right next to the ocean. Fishermen just come, unload, and you get all the super fresh fish there. Really good stuff, guys. So, not surprised to see an octopus there. But it's still surprising to see it in the middle of the city center just in a little tub there just breathing. Located the pizzeria guys, Sorbillo. 20,000 reviews. Let's see, let's see how good 20,000 reviews taste. Is it all hype or what? A 
I'm on the waiting list guys. Table for two is gonna be about 30 minutes. The good thing is it's a quick turnaround time because the pizza's already in minutes. But check out these geniuses over here guys. They have set up an alcohol shop right across from this mess. So when people are waiting one hour or whatever it is you're waiting, you can just go ahead and have a drink. Now I'm gonna try uh I'm gonna try one of these April spritz. Everybody's trying that, it's an Italian thing here. Definitely not my drink, but look at all the bread, look at all the bread. They're delivering. Alright guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of these things. I'll let you know how it goes. That's it, that's it. Alright, let's get away from music. Avoiding all the copyrights. Look what I got. All right, guys, I can't believe I'm trying this. Oh, that's really sour. You gotta try this. It's delicious. Are you going no, it's not amargo, but... It's amargo and dulce. Yes, it's like... Sweet and sour. Yes, it's amargo. Oh, I need to pass the time over here. Until we get to receive, redeem our pizza taste buds. Okay, face to face, face to face. All right, guys. So a place so busy. They got upstairs. They got downstairs. You can see the people dining down there, and we got this table here, face to face. Where's Monica? <laughs> all jokes, all jokes. Look at the menu, guys. Every Italian place needs a Nona and just non stop pizzas. The pizzas look phenomenal, guys, but you know, they, they don't have an English menu here. I was using my translator and I wanted to try something different, so I picked a tuna pizza and I just found out it has no cheese. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. I must say guys, my tuna pizza without any cheese is absolutely phenomenal. All it takes is the sauce. The sauce is delicious. The tuna is excellent. They work on it by hand, so you might find some bones in there from time to time, but man, delicious, great, high quality ingredients. Está buenísima. Como un poquito muy picante para mi gusto, pero hay que probarla. A ti te va a encantar. So I think she got something with spicy salami. I end up finishing her food anyways. Let's see, let's see. But so far, definitely better than the other pizza place we had. Just the sauce alone. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes, it's hot. Spicy salami. This place is still packed, guys. And I'm completely full, guys. That's it. Actually, that's not it. We need ice cream to top this off. <laughs> anyway, let me show you guys the bill here. So it's uh, 30 euros. So basically, each piece is about 10 bucks. There's a cover charge in there of two euros per person. It happens in all of Italy, and that that was some phenomenal pizza, guys. I can I can tell you that the short wait is definitely worth the time. Have a look at this look. 
she's pulling that up. I had to tell them, I had to tell them about my discovery. So definitely it's, it's worth the wait guys. This is in the city center. Before staying in the city center, I was staying outside of the city center for about a week and I discovered a place called 50 Cal. And it's just as good. Just as good, zero weight, excellent service. But if you're in the city center, that, that place is definitely good. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Uh, if you're in the city center, this place definitely lives up to the hype, guys. Just you got the weight there. Anyways, guys, this, this is the home of pizza. Pizza was oh yeah, another fresh fish, guys. Another fresh fish worker here. This is the home of pizza, guys. It was invented here, so this is the place to definitely try non-stop pizzas, non-stop pizza, street food as well some gelato, seafood, you can't miss on the seafood. A lot of good seafood in the city, guys. Napoli is definitely a culinary spot to visit. If you're looking for food vacations, if you just wanna go somewhere and just eat and have delicious food, Napoli here in Italy is the place to go, my friends. That's it, ciao.